Hello Pisces and welcome to your reading by the Blessings Foundry. Today's reading is a general reading to see what messages and guidance Spirit has for you at the time you view this video. Spirit, please connect with the Pisces viewers and subscribers of this channel in high vibrational energy to get the messages and guidance that Pisces needs for their soul's journey at the time they view this video. Let's see what we get for you today, Pisces. Spirit, what messages and guidance do you have for Pisces at the time they view this video? What messages and guidance? Thank you. We start off with the Nine of Wands, being tired, being ready for a break, standing your ground for a long time, putting in a lot of work, and just really feeling, you know, like you, you're you ready for a break. You're ready to be in a place where you don't have to have the courage to find your strength anymore. Spirit, what other messages do you have for Pisces? What other messages do you have for Pisces? You may also be looking over the past and recognizing how much work you've really put in. As you were putting in the work, as you were going through the difficulties and overcoming and getting things done, you you were more focused on what you were working on, trying to what you were trying to accomplish. And now in hindsight, you're looking back saying, wow, I really did a lot. And then we have the Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands is feminine. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius energy, but it's also about you coming into your power. We see a step up here. A step up might not be the proper word, but really coming to the place where you're no longer going to be in this drained energy and you're saying, I've done it. I've, I've done what was required. I've done enough to get me to where I need to be, I am going to leave behind this Knight of Wands energy and step up into my seat of power, come into the fact that I am now, if we look at these, this straight contrast between the Knight of Wands, the Knight of Wands is looking backward and also in an energy of woundedness. This is called the Wounded Warrior card, but we're overall, we're seeing that type of energy, but the Queen is not looking back. The Queen has overcome, the queen has triumphed, the queen is sitting in her position of power. Out of all the difficulty, out of all the work, out of all the courage the queen has done, she has planted beautiful flowers in her life. The nine of wands was that turning over of the ground, the planting of the seeds, the making a strong foundation for yourself, but now it's time to come into this Queen of Wands energy where you are now forward looking in your confidence and appreciating the beauty that's now in your life. What other messages do you have for Pisces, please? What other messages do you have for Pisces? Thank you. And then we have the Two of Cups forward looking towards new contracts, new opportunities, new emotional choices, and even perhaps a union. What other messages do you have for Pisces? And the five, oh, we have two cards here. So we have first the judgment. You could be having a past life connection come forward, memories of the past, forgiveness of the past. We'll get clarification for this judgment in a moment to see exactly what is going on with it. And then we have the five of wands. The five of wands can be competition. You could be in a place where you may have a lot of suitors or you may also have a lot of arguments. Again, this is a card that's going to be needing to have clarification. The judgment next to the five of wands can also indicate that there is forgiveness that can be applied to a situation as well. What any other messages for Pisces for this reading? Any other message? Thank you. And we have one more. So let's see what we have. We have the Page of Pentacles. So this is a message, a small offer, a small opportunity. It can even be a job opportunity coming towards you. Pentacles are material, tangible things. Pages are messages. So we'll see what's going on here. The Page of Pentacles can even be somebody who's younger than you, maybe even a child as well. So let's see what's going on here. What is this Nine of Wands for Pisces? What does Pisces need to know about this Nine of Wands, please? What is this Nine of Wands? Thank you. And we have the Eight of Wands. Anything else for this Nine of Wands? You're definitely coming out of this energy. Some of you may have already come out of this energy. And some of you might be, when in the heck am I coming out of this energy? Hold on, guys. I have to grab this card. They go flying sometimes. Alrighty. So let's sit back down. 
And then we will see what happened here. So we first start off with the eight of, nine of wands, clarified by the eight of wands. So you're definitely coming out of this energy. You may feel as though you need a break so you can reclaim your energy as well. There is a shift at play. Um, you might not see how that's going to take place right now because mentally you might be still in the... When our energy is drained physically, your mind also may come to a place of pause because you're waiting for your body literally to refuel itself with energy when for example if you go for a while while and you do not eat food your brain starts to become slower or stuck and i'm feeling like this is a general malaise um that may be um impacting your life like you you literally need to refill your tank in order to come out of non-movement um, and then we have the lovers here. So this is a choice. We have the two of cups, emotional choice, and lovers here, Gemini energy as well. But this could also be that, you know, as this is a general reading, it could be referring here. Let me try to move this just a little bit. Let me see. Okay. It could also be referring to a love situation where in the past you're looking over the past and not really sure about moving forward in love because of what's happened in the past. So two, two different scenarios, one in general, the other perhaps in love is coming forward here. Let's continue. What do we need to know about this Queen of Wands? What is this Queen of Wands for Pisces, please? What is, okay. For this Queen of Wands, and the Queen of Wands is not looking at the past situations, but it's looking at the forward. What I'm, I'm also seeing the energy here, Pisces, of going forward, what will your interactions with other people be like? In the past, you may have had non-movement in connections and relationships due to the burden that it has brought you. Here we have the Hermit, but you are now wiser. The Hermit is also Virgo energy. And we have the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords is seeing the truth, having clarity because of the experiences that you have gone through. Some of you may be dealing with somebody who has Virgo in their chart or air, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. But here, and we do have energy of fire as well. But here, what we're really seeing is you are able to be forward looking because you have a new sight, you have new knowledge, you are applying the lessons of your past to have clarity going forward into the emotional choices and decisions that you will be making. This Ace of Swords can also be interviewing for jobs. With the Nine of Wands, you could have been on a job. Again, general reading, so covering the different cases that come to you. You could have been um, really weary on a job that you've been on, <clears throat> pardon me, and you want to move forward, but you have not been sure how, you definitely have the wisdom and skills to be able to do so. And it's just a matter of choosing to do so. What is this two of cups, please? What does Pisces need to know about this two of cups? What is this two of cups for Pisces, please, spirit? This is definitely time of forward looking. And then we have the Knight of Swords. Yes, charging forward and forward looking. Yes, your, your energy if your energy, if you have not already begun to feel your energy shifting out of the tiredness into forward movement, this is an indicator that the, the transition period is going to be when you find rest, when you get new energy sources, when you, you know, are taking care of yourself, when you feel as though you're getting back to yourself a bit again. And then we see here Knight of Swords rushing forward towards growth and expansion, um, Spirit wants me to clarify these, so let me do so. What is this Knight of Swords for Pisces? The Knight of Swords can be, with the Two of Cups, can be fools rush in. Um, what is this Knight of Swords, please? What do we need to know about this Knight of Swords? What do we need to know about this Knight of Swords, please, Spirit? What is this Knight of Swords? Thank you. And we have the Five of Wands. So we, we do see the Five of Wands twice the knight of swords can be very hasty very rushed very um impetuous um energy as well with the five of wands you may have a lot of suitors a lot of options a lot of opportunity 
This, this combination can also represent chaos. So what we're seeing here is any situation where there is chaos or somebody trying to rush you, just be mindful that you're really looking at what this, if I entered into a choice, a partnership, a connection with this person, energy, job, situation, what would I be looking at in the future? Based on the energy today, based on what I'm seeing, what would I really be looking at going forward? Um, what is this judgment card, please? And the judgment is about decisions and seeing the truth, awakening. What is this judgment card for Pisces, please? What is this? <clears throat> Pardon me, guys. And here we have the Page of Cups. What else do we need? Thank you. Okay, two more cards. So here, Pisces, we have the Judgment card. I feel that this is definitely about a decision. Opportunities, messages coming towards you. A lot of options. Again, a lot of different... Some of you might be applying for jobs or trying to date or just trying to figure out where do I go from here? What's next? Like I've, I've been in this one chapter, this one season of my life, and now I'm looking to go forward. Um, with something different, but something that is emotionally right for you. That's really like we see here, the, the cup has the fish in it. This is your cup. It's meant for Pisces. What is meant for you and is not a distraction. So here really using your discernment, your logic to make the right proper choice about how you're going to go forward. Of course, keeping in mind the road you have already traveled down so you do not repeat a previous journey. What is this five of wands for Pisces, please? What do you want, Pisces? Thank you. And we have the eight of wand, eight of pentacles. What else do we need to know about this five of wands? Thank you. So for some of you, this is definitely work-related. For others, this is working through the chaos and struggle with the two of cups. Again, I'm going to clarify this. Spirit, what do we need to know about this Eight of Pentacles? What does Pisces need to know about this Eight of Pentacles? This is focusing really on what it is you want emotionally and in partnerships and connections. And we have the Queen of Cups and the Tower Pisces. So as you are focusing on yourself, something is going to come in and change. Let's see what this Tower is. We're just going to keep breaking it down until we find out what this message is. What is this Tower? What does Pisces need to know about this tower, please? And this could even be somebody coming towards you, really wanting to have a connection with you, really focused on you, coming in and trying to get through to you with the Page of Swords here, a message, a clarity, speaking their truth. The, the tower with the Page of Swords is about speaking your truth. It's about coming forward. It's about seeing things clearly. It's a breakdown of anything that would have held you in a position or a, a, a perspective of not being able to see. So we're definitely seeing working on clarity. A tower um, is coming for this Five of Wands. And the Five of Wands may very well be that energy of having things stirred up from that tower or your emotions. What do we need to know about this Two of Cups? What is this Two of Cups for Pisces? So we do see a change coming for you, Pisces. And then we have the Two of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles. This is an offer that is on the horizon. I don't feel that this offer is at your doorstep now. You are continuing to um, get yourself in a more firmly planted position, let's just say, that coming out of this tired energy as you revitalize, as you get your energy back this these changes are going to start to come around you into your energy and here we see the two of cups the two of pentacles and the six of pentacles this could be an opportunity coming towards you either romantically or materially that is going to be an offer as we can see here an offer of generosity or something better that is coming for you for those of you who have been applying for jobs the five of wands is showing a that you are very competitive in the marketplace or maybe having different options. For those of you who this is about love, this is about different suitors um, and being competition in love. For those of you who this is neither work nor love, this can be about you having physical activity, you you know, really getting a new bearing point on how you wanna go forward. So what is this page of pentacles for Pisces, please? What is this page of pentacles for Pisces? What is, 
and we have the Four of Cups. You know, Pisces, we see offers here, but you're not so sure. Like, you've definitely looked at what you've had before, and you're taking note of any similarities that things coming towards you have towards things you have experienced in the path, past because you've been down that road and you don't want to take that journey again. Let's see what else we can get here. What else do we need to know about this page of pentacles? We're also seeing here, if anybody comes towards you in a page energy, a, an immature, a less evolved, an energy that does not match where you are at, you're, you're not really going to be entertaining that either. What else does Pisces need to know about this page of pentacles? Thank you. Okay, this is a whole lot, but we're going to take it because... We think we need to here. So we're just going to go through this part quickly. So here for this page of pentacles, we also have the ten of cups. Yeah, you're not taking page energy because you want your truth, hap your true happiness. You, you don't want this single cup. You want the ten of cups. Whether that's in love, your personal life, your career. We have the five of swords coming out. Competition. You're not going to deal with any type of resistant energy I'm hearing pay attention to the red flags and right here we have the seven of swords coming out after it. You're, you are definitely not going to be engaging in any type of um, interactions or energy where you would feel as though you're, you'll end up needing to escape from difficult energy. And then we have the wheel of fortune. You, you're moving forward, Pisces. You the energy that's being represented here is saying you're tired of the past. You're tired of drinking from the same fountain of effery. You're, you're tired of connections and situations that drain you even though you give yourself to them. So here you're forward looking in a very, in a mindset of evaluation, in a mindset of awareness and clarity from shining the light on your past experiences and allowing that to illuminate the way forward, but also with the Ace of Swords, clear out the brush of your future path. When there is brush on covering a path, it is because nobody has really traveled that path before. And that's what we're seeing in this message, Pisces, is about you embarking on a new journey down a new path that is less traveled or that you have not traveled. So using your wisdom and experience from the past, you will be able to identify this path because you'll have some clearing to do, not of people and energy, but of wayfinding for yourself because you're moving ultimately towards a better future and a new beginning that will bring you a sense of passion. We see here with the Nine of Wands and the Ace of Wands, beginning the message with the Nine of Wands, ending the message with the Ten of Wands, it's time to close out that chapter and put that burden down. This is about you finding a new path for yourself, the path less traveled, and the path that is going to be uniquely yours. Spirit, one card for the overall message of this reading for Pisces, please. One card for the overall message of this reading. Thank you material and spiritual prosperity. So you are definitely on the move in your life, Pisces. There are changes on the horizon for some of you. These changes are already taking root in your life. Um, make sure that you are replenishing your energy, eating well, drinking water, taking time to rest, because that is going to be vital, not only for your health, but also for you to have that mental clarity to move forward in the footsteps that are meant for you. I, I just had a correction. As you move forward, there's not going to be footsteps to step into because you're going to be making new footsteps on your new path. Spirit, one oracle for Pisces. One oracle for Pisces, please. One oracle for Pisces, and we'll close it out. The ever unfolding rose cracked open. It's happening for you not to you. And here we're talking about traveling down a new path, not going towards the old ways, the old paths, the journeys that you know how they end. You have gone through difficulty, you have gone through struggle and challenge. So you could awaken 
to new options, new opportunities that lie ahead of you. So this is really, it's, I really feel an energy of adventure here, Pisces, that what is coming for you is going to, in some ways, be very delightful for you. And it's, it's really going to speak to your heart and it'll, it'll just be a new experience that's coming into your life. So this is what I have for you, Pisces. I hope it helps. God bless.